Okay, what is up guys? Here we go again, another awesome adventure. I'm Freetography, and right now, where am I? I'm in an abandoned zoo. First time for me, I've never been in an abandoned zoo before. Been into a few real zoos, but never been, been inside an abandoned zoo. I'm a little bit on edge, because I've never uh, never been here before. I got no info uh, on the place. There's, a, there's an active place next door where people live. There's a truck parked over there. I don't know where the dude is that, that owns that truck, but I'm on edge. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna explore this place. First thing, cue my music, cue my intro, let's get it. Okay guys, first things first, the reason why I came here is because of this playground right here. There is an amazing playground with a carousel and some little boats and uh, little kid rides and it's uh, very much overgrown and I'm loving it. So let's turn the camera around. There you go right there, there's your carousel. Got some sun shining right there. Got those little boats that spin around in a circle. And then you got those little, like a, it's almost like a little tilt-a-whirl thing over there where you can control how much it spins and how much it tilts or uh, spins around and how fast. So I'm not gonna ride these rides because that would just be stupid. And, uh, but this is it. This is what I came here for. I really wanted to get some pictures of this uh, carousel and this little playground. And now I'm gonna move on and see what else they got. There's all kinds of animal enclosures here. So let's, uh, let's keep it going and move on. This now abandoned zoo was founded in 1919 and was once the oldest private zoo in North America. Another interesting fact is that this zoo was also a large supplier of animals to the US film industry. Attendance at this now abandoned Ontario Zoo was around 100,000 people every year. This figure dropped by more than two thirds in its final year and the zoo officially closed late in 2016. In 2016, this zoo was consumed by controversy when the owner was filmed abusing animals this footage was secretly re recorded by People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals and released to the media, which caused a fury of bad press and bad coverage, which ultimately led to the closure of the zoo just short of its 100th year of service to the community. Okay guys, so here we got a fish pond here, and there's still some fish in there. There's a goldfish, for one thing I can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a... Uh, there's definitely one little fishy living in there. It finally stopped raining. It was pouring rain out earlier when I got here. All I see is a bunch of leaves and really dirty water. But yeah, in there somewhere, there's a goldfish, for sure. Okay guys, here we got the birds. There's a bird section here. This thing here is called the bird building, so I guess they must have kept lots of birds in there. So we're gonna keep walking around here. front entrance right now and we're gonna move along here we got a kids playground all right moving on from the playground here is what I'm thinking was a monkey enclosure so yeah here's the uh, what I think was a monkey enclosure and the reason why I think that this is because it's got stuff for them to climb all over. Okay, over here to this enclosure. So, see so yeah, this probably, uh, lemurs or some kind of little monkeys or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that the rest of the zoo is going to be just like this. And over here to this. And this just big empty enclosures because the only thing I saw of any real interest... Oh, you know what? There's also an auditorium, an amphitheater, where they had tiger shows and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll find that. So, uh, okay. Another enclosure. No animals. No monkeys. No lions. That's a good thing. Let's keep going. Here's a much larger enclosure with some really tall trees. Something there for feeding out of. Anybody who knows this place, don't, com don't say what the place is or where it is, but maybe you can comment 
if you guys have been inside here and you know what goes where. Maybe I can find a map before I leave and I'll be able to tell you guys what was where. Looks like that's where the elephant escaped, guys. Right there. Elephants escaping here through this uh, this wooden fence. They're like, we gotta get out of here, guys. Hey guys, okay, we're still here. Still at the zoo. Over there, you got another enclosure. You got a walkway. And then we're gonna turn around and then we got a big bridge here. We're gonna walk across this bridge. And we're gonna see what's on the other side. The bridge is really slippery. Got water on both sides, obviously, if it's a bridge, you got water. Now, funny thing about this is on the way in, I saw a bunch of salmon trying to swim upstream. Guys, there's salmon trying to swim upstream here. There's a dead salmon right there. And then there's a whole bunch of them trying to swim upstream. That's crazy cool. Holy shit, there's like five of them. Huh. That's amazing. Hope they make it. And down this way, there's a dead one who didn't make it. Looks like a dead salmon. I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't see him down there. There's a rock right here in the bottom right hand corner. And just above him, there's a big old dead salmon. It looks like he was trying to swim himself upstream and he got stuck. Poor guy. But there's no salmon right now, so that's too bad because that would have been pretty cool to show you guys. Alright, let's move. Alright, moving on to the next side of the zoo. Another enclosure here. And then you got another one over here. And that's all I have to say about that. And, uh, oh yeah, you know what? I gotta give a shout out to uh, my boys at Forgotten Productions. That's what they're called, Forgotten Productions Canada. There are a couple of guys who uh, explore, maybe one guy. But they uh, posted a video from here and we were chatting and uh, I've been here a few times just scouting it out and seeing if I could get in but uh, when we first came here there was somebody living in the building out front and uh, there was a car parked here so we weren't quite sure if we should try it so we didn't but uh, then yesterday I saw a video and a picture from Forgotten Productions and we were chatting so a huge shout out to them huge props to those guys for getting in here I'm not sure if anybody else has been in here yet but those guys got in posted their video good job I'll, uh, I'll link their video down below and their page so you guys can follow them. So shout out to uh, Forgotten Productions. Let's get it. Okay, I hope you guys can hear okay. It's pretty windy in here. Or out here, I mean. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm not really sure how big this place is. Right, we'll just keep walking through. So there's a small enclosure here that basically looks like it goes around in a circle. That's what we show you. Right here. It goes around in a, in a little circle. So this is probably where they would have either elephants or maybe llamas or camels or some shit like that. And they would take the kids on little rides here. So I'm guessing that's right there where they'd walk them through, stand up on top of there, get on top of the elephant, Take a little walk around. Kids cry, scream, get scared. Parents, no, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hi, baby. Anyways. Another enclosure. And there is the auditorium, I believe, where they would have done shows. So that's where we're gonna go now. Okay, guys, let's take a walk and check out the auditorium. Hopefully we can get in. They had animal enclosures on both sides of the auditorium. So you can see. Now I believe they did tiger shows. So I'm wondering if uh, these were tiger enclosures. Yeah, there we go. Anima Theater. 
enema theater. <laughs> Go. Here's your ma main entrance to the theater. I'll take a walk around and see if I can get inside. Okay, guys, this is crazy. We are inside the amphitheater. Turn some lights on here. We got a disco ball. Tiki torches. Holy shit, guys. Oh, yeah. This is cool. I'm put my camera down. Okay, guys, so there's a... Uh, sections for things for the animals to jump on here's a here's a holy shit guys I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't even know where to start holy shit so here's a uh, a cage where they would keep something in here's one of those things where the I'm guessing like a tiger would walk inside and do circles giant toothbrush <laughs> that's just crazy All kinds of different harnesses and leashes. Another cage. Yeah, more uh, tools and things for all the different animal stunts that they would do. Some crazy masks here. Weird masks that I guess the staff would wear. There's a Jason mask up there. Animal masks. More harnesses. There's your whips where they would whip the. Uh, oh, look at them all. Wow. For whipping the animals. And then watch this, guys. And turn around and look at this. Here we are in the amphitheater. This is cool. Got a disco ball up there. To pretend palm trees. Seats, lights. And then here's your whole stage area. Elephants. This is crazy, guys. All right, I gotta take some pictures. I'll be back. I gotta turn my light on. Watch this. Show barn inventory. Metal Y, crooks, meat sticks, leashes, and one can of carnivore repellent. Look, look at that. Saber Wild Max. Bear attack deterrent. So that's what you use when you want to be uh, not attacked by a bear. Okay, guys? And then there's your whips. There's all your whips. Bear attack. Hey, guys. We're still here. Still at the zoo. And I'm in the auditorium still. Going up to the top of the auditorium. Take a look around. So there's your doors in. Right there. Here's your light control, all your seats. There's your main stage there. So this is really cool, guys. Super cool. We're on this side here now. So yeah, there's your main control. You can control your sound and your lights and all your doohickeys and stuff. You go. There's your seats. There's your seats. Okay, I'm gonna take some more pictures. Hope you guys are liking this one. Okay, guys, this is hilarious. Now, knowing the history of this place that I won't quite say right now, I'm gonna read you guys something. So here's your. Uh, your pre-show 
they probably, this is what they read to the crowd. Welcome the crowd, tell them no smoking, turn off their cell phones, and remain seated. Animals may venture out, do not touch them. Exit the way you enter. Side ent exits are for emergency and wheelchair use only. Our animals are professionals. Feel free to take pictures and videos. No flashing lights. Beat tigers. <laughs> please, please, please enjoy the show. This beat tigers is clearly not in the same handwriting as the person who wrote. I think that's pretty funny. Okay, guys, we're going for a walk down the catwalk here. I'll shake my little tush on the catwalk. Who knows that reference? So this is uh, obviously the uh, upper area of the tiger enclosure. So that's where the tigers would hang out down there. There's lots of tiger poop down there, I bet, if I was to walk down in there. We got some electric, electric fencing and stuff to keep them from ex escaping. I almost said escaping. Danger, do not enter. Cat on exhibit. Cat, I like how they call them cats. Freaking tigers. Okay, picture time, be right back. Hey everybody, let's walk through the overgo overgrown cat walk, cat exhibit. This way. Walk through a whole bunch of spider webs, guys. I hate spider webs. Especially when they're in my face. The face? In the face! Catwalk. I do my little dance on the catwalk. Here we go. Check it out, guys. All the tiger, look at all the tigers. Tiger poop. What a life. What a life for a tiger. All right. Guys, here's the, uh, here's the kiddie pool area where they got like uh, some sprinklers and hoses and stuff that just throw water all over the place. That's where all the moms and dads would sit there. And that's where all the kids would scream and freak out. All right. Let me walk around here. Okay guys, I think that about does it for this one, for the abandoned zoo. It's been okay, I spent way more time here than I thought I would, but uh, yep, some cool stuff. We saw the amphitheater, amphitheater, we saw all the stuff back there, we saw some animal enclosures, we saw the, uh, the rides, the carousel, pretty cool. Well, if anybody's ever seen Rocky, the first Rocky. And Rocky's trying to figure out what to do with Adrian, where to take her on their first date. The mafia guy, he says, take her to the zoo. Anyways, so I'm at the zoo. By myself, though. So I hope you guys have liked it. The only animals we saw were some squirrels. That's the only animal in this zoo, guys. A squirrel. Look at it. That's all we get. We get to look at a squirrel eating a nut. And some salmon swimming upstream. Okay, watch this, guys. There's salmon trying to swim upstream. Can you see them? But thanks for watching. 
as always there's lots of cool adventures coming up in the future so keep it locked here on freetography follow my boys urbex carlo rhythm rider and don't forget to follow forgotten productions the guys who got me tipped off on this spot to get in here so thanks a lot guys keep it real see you next time peace